Nietzsche once said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's a quote that praises the survivors of traumatic events and argues that people grow stronger through adversity. However, the phrase often dismisses the after effects of the things that don't kill us, such as substance abuse, trauma, years of therapy, and more. So in this video, we wanna dig deeper and argue that what doesn't kill us doesn't always make us stronger. Trauma. Yes, it's true to some degree that we are made stronger by things that don't kill us. Whether it's rock climbing, falling off a bike, asking out a crush, or failing a test, we grow stronger with life's hurdles. But what if we go through something far more painful? Traumatic events like abuse, neglect, rejection, toxic relationships, and bullying may not exactly kill us, but they certainly leave us with scars from indescribable hurt and pain. And it may result in unhealthy coping mechanisms like substance abuse or lashing out to others just to numb or suppress the symptoms of our trauma. So it might not be so simple to say that people are always made stronger by adversity because we may never know the true impact of the things that don't kill us. Present. Imagine that your best friend called you in the middle of the night and they're crying because they just broke up with their partner. How helpful do you think it is for you to say, it's okay, this will make you stronger. If you haven't noticed already, this statement refuses to be present with those in pain. It rushes people through the moment without allowing them to process their emotions. It also doesn't offer compassion or empathy when they need it the most. So before you roll up your sleeves and jump in to quote this, it's important to remain present and compassionate. Besides, it may be best to let your friend come to their own conclusion when they're ready and not rush them into it. Self-care. Many of us know firsthand that traumatic events have a way of destroying our sense of self and distorting our worldview. If left untreated, they can also lead to a lifetime of after effects, including PTSD, unhealthy attachments, emotional issues, or severe addiction. And in order to recover from the effects of trauma, it can take long periods of therapy. In short, Nietzsche's quote fails to mention the time and effort it takes to recover from the effects of trauma. What he maybe should have said instead is that only with proper self-care and treatment do we have a chance at being made stronger from the effects of trauma. Toxic masculinity. What do the following statements have in common? Man up, walk it off, this will pass. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. They often perpetuate toxic masculinity. While some of them can be motivating under the right context, statements like these don't really help people who feel crippled by their adversities. They offer no sympathy and merely force people to do the same thing. Bottle up your feelings and keep going. But we know that bottling up feelings is never healthy. Besides, these statements often discourage vulnerability because it treats vulnerability as a weakness. Being vulnerable and open about one's struggles against things that don't kill us is actually a sign of mental strength, not weakness. Human experience. The biggest problem with the quote, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, is that the statement is reductive. It refuses to acknowledge the uniqueness of our individuality and reduces us down to one single statement that all of us in every situation are made stronger by adversities in life. In short, it oversimplifies our human experience. All of us have unique stories and the quote doesn't fully encapsulate the parts of our lives that aren't necessarily made stronger by what doesn't kill us. It can also perpetuate the belief that every single one of us experiences the same adversities and should come out of it exactly the same way. Ultimately, it's not so easy to tell whether what doesn't kill us truly makes us stronger. Yes, some adversities do help us grow stronger. Other times, we might be left with pain that we may never truly recover from. But the most important part is that we should strive to acknowledge each other's unique experiences and adversities. It doesn't hurt to offer compassion to those who are struggling through their adversities because not everyone will react the same way. And what about you? Do you think it's true that what doesn't kill us makes us stronger? Tell us in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll say this with all the love in the world. You matter.